guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad everyone stopped by today because for today's video, I'm going to be doing the number one requested character in the comment section. <laughs> you guys have left me hundreds of comments asking for me to make this, so of course I've got to make him. I'm going to be making Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. So, let's get started. Okay guys, this is going to be the pattern for our Bendy doll. I've got his little body here, nice and round, with some short legs. These are going to be his arms, this is going to be for his bow tie, and then I've got his head. So I'm going to get this all cut out and then I'll show you how many pieces for each one you'll need and all of that. And then we'll start on the sewing and the clay and all the other fun stuff. Okay, I got all my fabric cut out. You can see that we have two body pieces, one for his front, one for his back, and then we have the same thing for his head and both of the arms. And then his little bow tie pieces are over here. So, um, since we have all this cut out, I think we'll start on the clay first, and then we'll come back to sewing. Okay, the first thing I'm going to be making is his clay face. To start his face, I'm going to be taking a bunch of clay, and then I'm going to be using a rolling pin to flatten it out and make it nice and even. I have a paper pattern cut out for the size of the face that I need, and I'm going to lay this on the clay and cut around it. Now I'm going to take the same paper pattern that I used to cut the face out and I'm going to draw on his eyes and his mouth. I can then cut that out and use it to trace on the clay where I need the eyes and the mouth to be. So I'm going to use this pattern first to do his eyes and then I'm going to start building up around his face giving him cheekbones and a little bit more dimensions. After that I'll use the paper pattern to mark where his mouth is going to be and I'm going to build up clay around it making kind of a lip and then I can draw in the lines for his teeth and start shaping and adding other textures and stuff. Okay, now for his clay shoes. These are pretty cute and simple. 
Okay, I'm going to use a paper pattern to mark out the size of the tread of the shoe, and then I'm going to start layering some clay on top to get the nice roundness of the front of the shoe, and then the back part of his shoe. Um, to do the round part of his shoe, I did add a little bit of a glass lump. You could also do tin foil or whatnot. I just did this because it's round and it's easier to work with. I did this mainly so the shoes would bake better in the oven. If you get the clay too thick, sometimes the middle just doesn't want to bake. Once I have the shoes the way I want it, I'm going to take one of my wooden tools and push it into the place where you would normally put your foot in a shoe. Um, this is to leave a nice hole so that I can connect the wire frame to the clay feet. Okay, now we're going to move on to Bendy's gloves. For these, I'm going to be using some wooden dowels so that I have something to hold on to while I'm working with this. Um, that way I don't jam my finger in the clay and mess it up. <laughs> okay, to start I'm going to put a nice lump of clay on the tip of my wooden dowel to start, and then I'm going to add on the fingers. Once the fingers are all on and sculpted, I'm going to add a thumb, add a couple other details like the band that goes around the wrist, and then the clay hands will be done. All of our clay will go in the oven for roughly 45 to 55 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. 
Okay, all of our clay has cooled from baking, and now I'm going to be gluing the face onto a piece of cardboard to give it a bit more strength. With the clay being this thin, you don't want to have it crack, so it always helps to glue it onto something um, before you start working with it some more. For the painting, the first thing I wanted to do with his face is give it kind of a black wash. I'm going to paint everything black and then use a damp paper towel and wipe as much of it off as I can. This will give it more of a gray tone and um, it'll do a nice effect once we start adding the white and everything to it. After that dries, I'm going to paint the whole face white, and then I decided to do gray around where the eyes are to give it a bit of a sunken in look, make it a little bit creepier. <laughs> Then I just need to use black to paint in the eyes and to touch up some of the other spots and give a bit more shadowing here and there. Now the gloves are going to be pretty easy, I'm just going to paint them all white. And the shoes are just as easy as the gloves, they're just going to be painted all black. After all my painting is dried, I'm going to resin them so they have a nice protective layer. This will require them to sit overnight so we can start working on the sewing and stuff after that. Okay, now we can start on the sewing and putting him all together. First thing I'm going to do is sew the sides of his body together. Um, his neck is going to be a strip of white so it looks like his bow tie goes all the way around and I'm going to connect his head on top of one half of that white and his body on the other. After I have his sides put together, I'm going to sew his head. So I've got it pinned up and then I'm going to follow along the lines that I have drawn. I'm then going to cut out the little hole that I have drawn out for where his face is going to go. And then I can reverse everything to where it's right side out. Thank you. 
Now before we finish putting his body together, we need a wire frame for him. That way he can stand up, sit, and do all kinds of stuff. His little wire frame is going to be really simple. It's going to look like a stick figure when we're done. So I have a long strip of wire that I bent in half. This is going to be his neck and it's going to bend out and separate to his feet. I'm going to do another strip of wire for his hands and we're going to wrap that all together, glue it up, and attach it to the back of his head. Once his head is glued on, I'm going to push the wires all down so it's just a straight line and I'm going to run that through the hole that his face is going to go through and down the neck. That way it will look kind of like this and then we'll just need to glue the fabric around his face. I'm going to stuff his head and then I'm going to move on to making his bow tie. For his bow tie, it's really simple. I'm just going to be pinning these two sides together, sewing them, um, flipping them right side out, and then I'm going to hand sew them um, to the sides of his neck. These won't get stuffed because his bow tie kind of looks nice and square and floppy and I didn't want to make it look really puffy. Once we're done with the bow tie, we're going to move on to adding his arms. I'm going to sew all of the different sides of the arms onto his body, and then I'm going to sew the top part of his arms together. Then we can figure out exactly where the gloves need to be glued on, and then we'll glue the fabric around the wrist of the gloves. Then the last thing we'll need to do is sew the bottom half of his arms closed, stuffing them as we go. After his arms are finished, I'm going to sew down the side of his body and his legs, and then I'm going to stuff his body. Now 
Now I'm going to take the fabric for the ends of his legs and I'm going to glue it to the wire frame. After that I'm going to finish sewing up the rest of his body and then we can glue on his shoes. The only thing I'm going to do next is add some felt to the bottom of his shoes and then he is all finished. Okay guys, and that's how I made Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I think he came out really cool. He stands up really well, even though he's super skinny. <laughs> like a cartoon character, he doesn't have very many dimensions. But I like him, and he's going to be on my shelves above my work desk, along with the Bon Bon puppet that I have. So I've got a bunch of little scary characters <laughs> looking down at me while I work. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't done that already, and go check out my Twitter if you guys want to see sneak peeks of upcoming creatures and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have any future creature ideas, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!